Taking care of people just seems to be something that's in Angel Curion's blood. You can tell from the kinds of classes he takes at Alameda International, like this sports medicine class. That's the value to performance, okay? But it's not until this quiet, unassuming young man finishes up the school day that his caring side comes into full bloom. That's when Angel starts his shift at the Eaton Senior Community in Lakewood as a caregiver. I don't see it as a job, I see it more as a gift not everybody can do it. It takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of love for the residents and I think that's something I have and I sometimes I feel like I can offer them that love that many people can't. Angel started out working in our dining room program as a server and one day he approached me about doing an internship at Eaton for his high school class. Angel's desire was to be a doctor and uh, we decided to accept that challenge and uh, we were so fortunate to have done that. That internship and the specialized medical training he received led to his caregiving role. Training how to actually care for them and be there with them. For, like. Do you need any help with your oxygen and shower times and stuff like that? And it's, it was a big step, but I mean, I was ready for it. Angel came in and embraced every opportunity we put in front of him. We had him work with different medical providers, including our dermatologists, our foot doctors. He's also helped bridge the technology gap for many of these residents as part of a pilot program with the Colorado Gerontological Society, teaching seniors how to navigate their way around an iPad. And to be able to use that iPad to do selfies, which they loved when he taught them. We learned how to Skype. We uh, learned how to use Google and Maps. It hasn't always been easy. Angel admits it was tough in the beginning and he almost decided this wasn't for him. But the way the residents embraced him erased any doubts. Yeah, every time they see me, I, they always smile at me. And it's just the greatest feeling in the world. Angel's had to deal with his share of sadness on the job, something that's undeniable for any caregiver helping people in the twilight of their years. It's heartbreaking when you go in there and they usually have a picture of them when they pass away. But he takes comfort in knowing that, for a time anyway, he's able to help in ways large and small. I think I'm just built for it. It's just, you're born with the gift of working with them. So, I mean, I love my residents, all of them. 